Hi everybody, let's go over the final exam for this semester, which is going to be the creativity project. So I want you to consider some big questions here. What does it mean to be creative? How can we become creative? How do we come to think independently? What have you learned about the world through your experiences in and out of school? How can we improve the world through what we learn? And then finally, how do prior experiences impact who we become as individuals and how we see the world? Okay, it's a lot to think about. So what does this have to do with your final exam? What will you be doing? So, how often have you thought this semester, Brit Lit is pointless. I'm never gonna use this again after I graduate. I hate this class. Well, I certainly hope not, but I know it's a reality. All semester long, we have considered the essential question, which is how is literature influenced by the time in which it's written? This project is going to be a culmination of what we learned in this class and what you have learned in our society. You're gonna be creating a project that explores stories, politics, and art. To finalize your project, you will develop a reflection about your project. All parts of the assignment will be loaded onto the same document. Read that again. All parts of the assignment will be loaded onto the same document. You're gonna build on this each week. Here's the goal. You will take the lessons you've learned this year and apply them to the world around you. I want you to realize that these lessons have merit, that creativity and writing are necessary to create new ideas. I want you to consider how you fit into this. All right. Now, see the big stop sign? You're not going to be completing your assignment on this page. Do not turn in this document. I know you've done a lot of worksheets in this class. This is not one of those assignments where you will turn it in with this document. You will need to create a separate document that builds on itself each week. So how are you going to submit your work? This is a creativity project. So you're going to have to be creative, okay? You can create a blog, a wiki, a PowerPoint, or a website, but it needs to be creative. If it is a white background with black text with no images, nothing to it, you're not going to get as many points, okay? I'm looking for that creativity. Here are a few ideas you can use to build your project. You can use a blog website such as Wix, WordPress, or Squarespace. These are free websites where you can build a blog. You can use Prezi and create a presentation. You can use Google and build your own Google website. If you want, you can create a PowerPoint or a Google slide presentation. And if you're not sure if the way you want to create this project would be okay, just ask. The biggest thing here, do not create this on a Word or Google Doc, okay? I'm asking you to be creative, creative, just like the authors we have studied all semester, okay? The most important thing is that all four portions of the project need to be on the same document. You're gonna have a, a, a portion submitted each week but you're gonna be submitting that same document and you're gonna see it grow every week, okay? It's the project that's gonna build on itself. You will submit the same document four times. Each time the document will have a new entry added to it. Now here's the big thing. It's a blog, it's a creativity project. Each entry must have a creative title. All right, so. Completing your work. How are you supposed to fit this in? Each week, you're gonna be given three days to work on this project. So make sure you are picking something that you can realistically get done in three days. I'm not looking for full essays for every single uh, submission, okay? So when you're planning your work, you should follow the set pacing guide. Wednesday, plan and research your topic for that week. I provide a lot of resources for each portion of this. Read the material you will write about. Thursday, draft your response to the prompt for that week. Friday, revise and draft your response for any errors. So the hard work should really be done on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, look for those errors, 
look for those revisions, fix those, submit your work, okay? All sources must be properly cited at the end of each piece with MLA citations. Use easybib.com to cite your sources. You need to make sure that you have that citation in there. Due dates. So this Friday, your first one is due. April 22nd, stories is the, the uh, stories is due. Next Friday, April 29th, politics. Friday after that, art. And then our final week together in class, you're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to work on your final reflection, okay? So again, you're gonna be given those three days to get that work submitted. Each portion is going to be worth 25 points, which means this project is worth a total of 400, or I'm sorry, 100 points. So each week in the Dropbox, I will have a video that goes over each specific portion of the project, okay? The first one you will do will be stories and that's due on the 22nd. And for that, you will um, you will read um, or watch or listen to a personal narrative or interview of a creative person from contemporary culture. And then you will respond to the prompts. You'll have to have a creative title, the author and title of the story, and a detailed multi-paragraph response answering the following questions. You'll have to summarize the narrative and then think about how this creative person is impacting the time period in which we currently live. What effects does their creativity have on our society? And you need to use specific details and textual evidence from the passage to support your ideas. Okay, multi-paragraph, two to three paragraphs, okay? But it needs to be detailed. If you're giving me five sentences, that's not gonna cut it. Politics. So earlier this semester, you read Modest Proposal, which provided a creative solution to a problem. And additionally, we read several pieces from the Victorian modern and postmodern era that used literature to make political statements. Think about Chimney Sweeper, Oliver Twist, The Doll's House. These were all making social, these all had social commentary, okay? Your task is going to write a political and social topic concerning a creative solution to a problem and write a multi-paragraph response. Again, I provide a list, but you do not have to pick the lists. It is up to you uh, if you wanted to pick something else. But it does need to be from a credible source. So if you're not sure if it's credible, just email me if it's not from that list, and I'll be happy to, to go through it with you. All right. Again, I'm going to give detailed individual videos in each Dropbox. Right now, this is just an overview. Then art will be due on May 6th. Again, this is 25 points. This is look, going to look very similar to um, the art analysis you did for the Romantic period. Um, the Romantics, we, as we know, used art to express themselves and get a message out into the world. Is this still a relevant idea? So you will pick from um, a, 20, uh, a 21st century British artist and look at their and analyze their work and answer questions on the overall meaning of the piece and is this still relevant and again you're going to need mla citations for that one as well okay then finally for your final reflection this i want you to be create again i want you to be creative and i want you to think about what have you learned what kind of future do you want and what have you realized about creativity and how to imagine the best possible future. So for this final portion, you have several different ways you can complete it, but it does need to be completed on that same document, okay? You could have a written reflection, you could create a podcast, you could have a video explanation, um, but it does need to have a creative title and, it need, and you need your response. If you have any questions about this, let me know, but I really am looking forward to watching you uh, grow as a writer, and I'm looking forward to reading your responses and learning what it means to be creative from your perspective. Thank you so much, and let me know if you need help.